now our third honoree of an absolutely extraordinary group this evening. As I think you probably all know, Anna Quinlan is in her work a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, best selling novelist and social critic. I've been a Quinlan groupie since the 1970s and Anna's early days at the New York Post. I was training at Bellevue and NYU then when I heard that remarkable clarion voice. When Anna left the Post to join the New York Times and write a series of columns and become an editor, then to receive the Pulitzer Prize for her op-ed column, Public and Private. Then on to nonfiction and fiction bestsellers. At every turn, she used her skill at language to steer us into the lives of others, imagined or real. This current chapter of her life has produced such titles as Living Out Loud, How Reading Changed My Life, 1994's One True Thing, which became a movie with Meryl Streep, William Hurt, and Renee Zellweger. But Anna is also grandma. And if you haven't picked up her latest book published in April, Nanaville, it's an adventure into why the grand status is such wonderful magic. In all of these works, Anna exhibits her unique capacity to make the political personal and grab our attention with the urgency of the truth. She has recorded with remarkable empathy her family's lives in illness, and we, we all are the better for it. This work, her entire life's work in writing, embodies humanism. From sentence to sentence, stringing together understandings for us all that affect us through nuance and care and honesty. In 2013, the Gold Foundation invited Anna to speak at the Association of American Medical Colleges annual meeting, as you've heard, at the newly named Jordan J. Cohen Humanism in Medicine lecture. And that seemed perhaps to be a radical decision when most of our sessions were helmed by esteemed physician leaders. By inviting her, we chose to amplify the patient's voice. And she gave an inspiring, moving talk, urging us to see patients as individuals with unique needs for their particular care. Do you know who I am? She asked again and again as coda throughout the address. Do you, addressing us clinicians, know who I am? It was a rousing, unsettling, compelling refrain in this very fractured era. We are so pleased, ourselves so honored, to honor her tonight. As citizen patient, as journalist, as novelist, she has illuminated our lives and helped us to see each other more deeply. Please join me in congratulating Anna Quinlan on her 2019 National Humanism in Medicine Medal. <laughs> 